Water is a resource we take for granted, but in the global south, access to clean water is not guaranteed. Imagine living in a city of 1.2 million people without a sewage system. Freetown, Sierra Leone's capital, has grown rapidly and the supply of public services just can't keep up. The volume of raw fecal waste is overwhelming. Every year, Freetown produces half a million barrels of sludge. The city's sewage system serves only 4% of its inhabitants. Almost 7% of people still defecate openly. Things were worse in Kingdom, one of Freetown's poorest, most vulnerable neighborhoods. 10% of the city's waste used to be dumped in a landfill. This created unbearable conditions for the city's inhabitants. Untreated waste seeped into the ground and nearby waterways, flowing through many of Freetown settlements. In Kingdom, children played in areas contaminated by human waste. Even in their own homes, people were not protected. During the rainy season, polluted waterways overflowed and flooded nearby houses. The smell was overpowering. There was no way to escape it. Health hazards abounded, especially for young children. Lack of sanitation meant exposure to bacteria, toxic fumes, and waterborne diseases. Dirty water was a breeding ground for malaria-spreading mosquitoes. Marine life and biodiversity were endangered as human waste seeped into waterways, foreshores, and the ocean, polluting and damaging the natural environment. Over the last half decade, things have begun to improve. Thanks to Freetown City Council and Goal, Kingdom has built its first ever waste management plant. The Fecal Sludge Management, or FSM plant, treats 10 to 12 tank loads of human waste per day. Operating since 2021, it safely manages 20% of Freetown's liquid waste, about 120,000 barrels per year. Technical innovations are playing a major role. Vacuum trucks use mechanized emptying technology to collect waste from households and return it to the plant for treatment and disposal. The plant is also piloting the development of geotextile bags of porous fabric, similar to traditional sandbags. But further innovations are needed as the plant only solves half the problem. Freetown's rapid, unplanned urban expansion has led to 40% of the city's population living in informal settlements or hard-to-reach areas. A lack of roads means vacuum trucks can't reach Freetown's poorest neighborhoods. The FSM plant has reached full capacity and cannot expand unless a viable financial operating model is developed. To tackle these challenges, Goal is piloting on-site innovations in hard-to-reach neighborhoods sanitation solutions that are climate smart and market driven. One is biogas technology, using waste to energy technology to capture the methane gas produced by human waste, turning it into renewable energy that can be used as clean cooking gas or even to power a generator. This home biogas is a sustainable alternative to cooking fuel, the demand for which is driving alarming rates of deforestation in Sierra Leone. Another affordable on-site solution Goal is trialing is composting toilets that produce compost or manure as a byproduct of the decomposition of waste. A variety of other waste-to-value products are being developed. The FSM plant is generating cooking briquettes and compost pellets from dried sludge, a scalable income-generating activity. Local partnerships are crucial in helping vulnerable communities move from crisis to resilience. The FSM plant provides a much needed source of income. More than 30 people from local communities are permanently employed by the plant. When the FSM plant expands, more locals will benefit from a reliable wage. Operated in partnership with Freetown City Council, the plant was key to supporting the council's Transform Freetown agenda increasing the percentage of liquid waste being safely managed in the city from 6% in 2018 to at least 60% by 2022. The ultimate vision is for Freetown City Council to manage and own the plant themselves, with private sector partnerships to maintain financial viability. But first, we need your financial support 
to help increase capacity at the FSM plant in Kingdom by at least 50% and then develop another purpose-built plant on the east of the city. This is a unique opportunity. Let's work together to enable Freetown to treat even more sludge every day and reduce environmental pollution across the city and into the receiving waters. Let's work together to improve upon the mechanized emptying technology. Let's enable advancing the other innovations that the plant is piloting, from geotextile bags to cooking briquettes, compost briquettes, and home biogas. And let's see the FSM plant in Freetown as having the potential to be developed as proof of concept for a sustainable plant that could be replicated across other countries in Africa. But most of all, please help us to make Freetown work even harder for its most deserving citizens.